Arn Anderson. Uh, Arn Anderson is is undeniably one of the greatest what I call shoot interviewers. <laughs> right. Old school shoot interviewers. Oh, he yeah. he could take you into an angle that you might not have even known about, meaning that's the first time you saw him. And by the time he's done with the interview, you know everything about it. The good news, the bad news, the hate for each other. He was impeccable with, he worked out every day. He tanned every day. Brother, watch what he ate. Yeah, did he like some beers, you know, just like we all did? Yes, he did. But I'm saying wrestling was Arn, and Arn was wrestling. And there's not one person in this industry that I have ever heard disrespect him in any way at all, ever. Now, listen, later on, I wasn't around him when he was at WCW in an uh, official capacity and things like that. But when I say when when Arn Anderson speaks, remember, remember the old uh, EF Hutton? When Arn Anderson spoke, everyone listened. And, and, and uh, I, I'll say this, one of the biggest uh, breaks are – one of the biggest breaks or my first big, uh, I don't know, step up. I can't remember how long I was in the business. So it kind of sounds bad, but was I in the business six months, maybe seven months when Arn Anderson tweaked his knee and he needed surgery. It was Arn Anderson. <laughs> After there was so much, people hated me wrestling Bobby Eaton. Uh, you know, how, how could WCW res- disrespect Bobby Eaton? How could this, Arn, uh, how could WCW disrespect Arn Anderson and Bobby Eaton by even putting this fool in a tag match? You know, how, you know, blah, blah, blah. Arn Anderson, he was, he's so smart and understands the business. He understands the evolution of the business, right? And so whether you like it or don't like it, if he thinks this, this person is going to be in the business and we're going to go somewhere, then damn it, let's go. Right. And Arn's so smart, he probably goes, Hey, if anyone's going to pull great matches out of this kid so young in, g- give him to the best. Right. Now, he, he, he might not have said that. That dude went in with Dusty Rhodes and broke down an idea of, of an angle that we were in to where we end up meeting out in the parking lot. Right. Well, pay per view. We have a brawl in the parking lot. And then he gets his knee done. And we go out nailing it in town after town after town for that. And you know what? He said, kid, yup, you're going to get me. And he goes, but everyone's going to show up to watch this. And I'm going to kick your ass in every one of these towns. And they're all going to be sold out. He goes, but we got to get the people there to want me to see da da da. Right. And I'm thinking to myself, this is kind of, he, he's kind of like Scotty Pippen, ish michael jordan ish you know he he's one of the he's one of the he's one of the greats right so i got one of the four horse you know we can go down the list of who arn anderson is right and he basically took a situation in his brain he could have picked anyone to do a project with picks the dude that has the most heat which is genius by him because he's right it didn't just sell out fans Every one of the wrestlers at every curtain call, they all wanted to see Arn do it. And all he did was, and he knew what he was doing, he was doing two things. He was drawing asses in the seats, okay, which is great for business. He took a shoot heat in the back and brought it to the forefront, and he was able to sit there and make me through every one of his interviews Okay, then he then he even told me, son. I also got to be in a position where I could run the road with you for like a month and teach you every night. Tears, dude. Tears. Like, how does that happen? You know, like like you get in as an NBA person and then all of a sudden, you know, the Pippins and the Malones and the Jordans are going to just chum up to you as a rookie that has heat. 